Now that we've learned how to put the outlet into the dollhouse, we need to figure out how to put the plug that goes into that outlet onto our uh, lamps that we have. Circuit actually has two different plugs for their, um, their the lamp plugs that they have. Uh, the first one is their standard lamp plug, CK1004. The second one is the same size. It's a small one that fits into the outlet that we put into the dollhouse already. And this is their hollow tube plug, and it's CK1004-2. We're going to start by installing the uh, standard lamp plug, CK1004, and show you how that's done. These are the two plugs. This is the hollow tube plug that Circuit has. This is all you get in the bag is this little uh, plug with the brass tubes that are molded into the plastic that's on there. And then the uh, standard uh, miniature wall lamp plug is CK1004 and you can see it comes with the two pins and it works very similar to the large uh, uh, plugs that you get on most of the lamps that you're going to buy in the, uh, the store. Yeah. I'm so going to start with our lamp that we have here. It comes with that large uh, plug on here and all I'm going to do is take our pliers and pull those pins out, push the wires through and pull the cap off on there. I want to trim these up just so that they're nice and even so I'll take my cutters and we'll go ahead and cut both of these. Okay, let's cut it right off there. Then I'll come back and I'll pull the wires back on themselves a little bit. Now you can use your fingernails and you can strip the wire off and this works fairly well on on this wire but a lot of the lights that you get are going to have real fine wires on there and there's a much quicker and easier way to strip the ends on here and to make it even. I use my soldering iron and I'll put the soldering iron down on the end of the wire, let it set for just a second, and then pull the wire out from underneath the iron. We'll do that on both sides here. And just pull the wire out. And then I'm going to twist the strands uh, and the directions from circuit, if you're using your fingernail, they tell you to just pull back a short distance so that you have a little bit of the insulation on the end. And when you twist it, it's a little bit easier to grab that insulation and twist the strands of wire that are in there. But you want to strip, uh, twist these so that you get the strands wrapped on themselves and it makes it a lot easier to go into the uh, plug itself. I'm going to grab the, the head here, and if you notice, we have on the bottom side of it, the pins are going to go into the holes that are here, and then on the sides at the top, we have the holes that come all the way through, but on the edge here, we have a hole on this side and one on this side other side that's right here. We're going to take the wires and if I can hold this so that you can see it, I'm then going to grab the wire here with my long nose pliers. I'm going to take the plug itself and I'm going to go in the side of the plug here and push it through the back and come out the back end here. I'll grab those with the pliers and pull it up so that the insulation tries to go into the side hole but um, it won't actually fit in there but pull it so it comes up a little bit snug and then we'll turn this over and put the other wire 
in the other side and have it come out the back Grab it at the top and again pull it a little bit. And if you notice, I'm folding it back to the edges on the side here. And then I'm going to turn this around so that I can hold this edge. And we're going to take our pins and move it back onto the pliers here so that they're not right at the end. And I'll push this into the one hole. Take the other one and push it in. Go as far as we can on there. And then I take the regular gas pliers that I have here and I'll pinch the back of it so that it pushes those pins all the way to the back edge of our housing that's on here. And then the last thing that we need to do is we need to bring those wires that were sticking out of the back here and trim those off and cut them. So I've got the two wires that are there. We'll take our cutters and I'll cut the one side and then the other. Turn this back around and give this a few twists. And there you have the plug installed on the end of our lamp and we can then plug it in to the light fixture and I don't have that wire powered but that's what we would do to hook up that particular fixture. The second one, the hollow tube one, is a little bit easier. Uh, I prefer the one that we just did because I feel it makes a little bit better connection. We'll do this the same way. We'll pull the pins out. I'll push the wires in and then out. I'll take those wires and trim them up evenly. And I'm actually going to strip the ends a little bit further than we did on the other one. So I'm going to go back pull a little bit more of the insulation off. So I'm going to put the iron down, pull the wire away from the, uh, the soldering iron, clean off that insulation, come back and do the other side. I want to strip these so we have about um, a full inch, three quarters of an inch of wire exposed on here. And then I'm going to twist them good. Grab those wires then to be able to put them into the hollow tube. And we'll line that up and slide that into the hollow tube. We'll put that one in. Have it come through the other end here. Grab it and pull it so that if we can, we'll get a little bit of that insulation into the uh, tube and then I'll fold back that wire to, so that it holds it in place. I'll grab the second lead, put it into the hole on the back side here and shove that all the way down so we can grab it on this side and then pull it in so it's tight. Fold that over a little bit and then all we do on this is take a little bit of super glue and put just a drop of super glue right on the end here. I'm going to flip it over and put a little bit on this side. Let that set for about 20 minutes. And instead of getting it all over my hands, but what we need to do then is pull 
these wires, let me see if I can grab it with the pliers, and we'll pull those wires up and then snip that off. First that one, and then that one. Whoops, we've got a little bit more right there. And then that one will plug in also. So we have the two lamps with the two different sockets uh, put on. And then let me show you what it looks like when we plug them into a circuit in the dollhouse. One thing that I wanted to mention that I forgot was when you first open up the package on these, you might take a piece of the Arkinar wire, strip the end of it, and poke it through the holes that are on here in the molding of it. Sometimes they get a little bit of material uh, that hangs up into the end of the, the plug here. So I just like to stick the wire through the end and clean it out. And do that from the bottom where the pins are going to go in and they should be clear all the way up to the top so I'll go through this way all the way up to the top and on the side where you're going to be running the wires then make sure that clears and you can get that all the way through I can actually push the insulation in there and clean that pretty well with the insulation on that. Do that on the tube one as well as on the the regular lamp plug that's on there and that'll make it a lot easier for you to fish the wires into it. Now let me show you what this is going to look like. I'm showing you here the plug that I've put onto this floor and as you can see there's no flat tape going around it. What I did is drill the holes in where the pins go on the outlet and uh, brought it to the other wall and then did my wiring down into the uh, basement of the dollhouse. So if I come around here to this side, you can see where I completed my work on here. And the wires actually came through at this point and at this point. And then I ran my router down to the floor. You can see a little bit of the red and the black wire all the way at the bottom. And of course, when you come back with your strip of molding, it's going to completely cover the majority of all of that work. Where I routed out here, I filled with drywall compound and then lightly sanded it and it's perfectly smooth all the way across there. So that will paint over or wallpaper over whatever you want to do. You can see both of our lights that we wired up and I've plugged both of them into the same outlet. The top one has the twists on the end so that's the regular uh, lamp plug 1004 and the bottom one we glued the end of it and that's the hollow tube one that plugs into the bottom piece. But both of our lights are lit and we're all set.